Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Black Ops Cold War video, guys. Today, I need your help. I need your help to decorate my new gaming setup, office room, my gaming setup room, my office room, my whatever you want to call it, the studio room, whatever you want to call it. I need your help to help me decorate it. Please, let's hop into a game and talk about it some more. It says in the top right corner right here that I have a 10 win-loss ratio on Crossroads. Does that like include league players? I can't. But also, if it doesn't include league players, it's even more confusing. Can I? Am I not going to load in? Hello? Oh, oh, here we are. We're still we're still loading up the LC10. We are working on this baby slowly but surely. Got him. Now, before we get into today's topic of me needing your guys' help, your decorative, we need. I need your assistance, right? Okay. Before we get into that, I must say that so we're gonna be doing eight tonight on Twitch at 9 p.m. Eastern time, and the <laughs> the GA list just keeps changing, right? Now I'm hoping that now that the two weeks is up in this weekend, we're actually playing. I mean, the use or the challenger scene is already playing. So I'm hoping that the GA list is finally done. And we had, we have found like, like a quote unquote official slash unofficial GA list that the challengers are playing with. And that is what we're going to be using. So if you're a part of the discord, we have it. If you go to the H chat discord channel and then you go to the pin messages, you'll see it. But basically the uh, update. Oh, I just started throwing knife at me. So I started shooting. But the update is so apparently stuns got GA'd. So I didn't know. Oh, I have a 30 ping right now. Nice. But apparently stuns got GA'd. So everyone can only use flashbangs because stuns and smoke are GA'd. Uh, they made it so you can only run three trophies. So yeah, you can only run three trophies per team. But we're not gonna. I mean, I mean, I, we can try to enforce that. I probably like won't run trophies on my team just to kind of keep that. But that's gonna be the one where I'm not like really too concerned about with. And the other one that I'm not too concerned about with is auto sprint. They're supposed to be off, but. I'm not really too concerned about that because it is our own discord like at the end of the day we can make our own rules you know what i'm saying but yeah the other big one that i'm like actually excited about is the liberator barrel is back to being allowed on the 74 you thankfully now what's weird is though even though i see that the liberator barrel is back to being allowed i see some people are actually preferring the extended barrel like over the liberator barrel is the liberator barrel gives you 100 percent bullet velocity but gives you minus 25 percent aim walking or aim move speed or some kind of speed and then the extended barrel gives you plus 40% bullet velocity, but has no con to it. So, I don't know. I can see why they're using extended, like, barrel, but I'm I'm using the Liberator barrel. Finally, I, dude, I, I only use the extended barrel for, like, a few days on, in league play, and it is pure doo-doo cheeks. I do not enjoy the Liberator barrel, or the extended barrel at all. Now that we've been playing Call of Duty all night, and our skill-based matchmaking is absolutely through the roof. We're going to be, obviously, in this super try hard game mode i was playing earlier uh, we did a short stream yes well yesterday for you guys earlier today for me and we were having a good time like just pub stopping leveling up this gun but now we are in some absolute cracked out lobbies which definitely sucks but it is what it is let's actually talk about what i want to talk about so say it all the time i've been giving you guys tons of updates but in about two to three months mrs rudy and i are going to be moving into our home which we're very excited about now once again, we're still technically waiting for the official approval from the bank, but I know it's going to get approved because if it doesn't get approved right away, uh, we have like, you know, we have backup plans, obviously, to uh, make sure it gets approved. So now we're going to be moving into it. And with that being said, one of the biggest cons to my current office, so I love my current office because this is my first time I have like my own office space outside of like a bedroom. Like this isn't a bedroom. This is my office, which is really awesome. Uh, but the biggest con is this office room is literally like sharing a wall with our master bedroom and mrs rudy is a nurse so she works and so she goes to bed really early to like wake up really early to be a nurse so i have this curtain behind me which you know really really makes it so you can't or i can't like have any form of decoration really because this curtain is taken up the only decoration i really have is this the whiteboard right here that i i literally just spawned in i'm getting shot at get away from me so in my new office it is going to be the layout of the house is the office space is on the exact opposite side of the house like totally opposite side of the house is the as our like our master bedroom like so i'm so excited about that which means that my office room i can actually decorate like i don't have to have a curtain behind me i can actually have like shelving behind me and the other thing is like it's actually going to be our home not like somewhere we're renting so like here i didn't really want to like i don't really like hanging up things on the walls i didn't really want to decorate because for one when you hang up things on the walls you got to repair all the holes in the walls but also you know if you you know when you start collecting too many things and then one day you have to move it's just a pain to move them all i grew up like moving all the time like moving from school to school and all that stuff so i just like kind of grew up not really liking to collect stuff but now i'm i don't know dude i might i might start you know i don't know i don't know if i'll start a collection but i definitely need your guys' recommendations for like 
I already have some like LED floodlights I want to have like for the back like background to have like a cool like blue or I don't know some kind of a background. I know pink is like usually a really cool like cue light color for the background just because it's so obvious you know so that'd be really cool if I you know like I'm gonna get those floodlights but I, I don't know like maybe some some specific shelves maybe some like cool like I don't know posters or something like that I need your help so my overarching goal with all of this is that when we move okay sorry to shout out my teammate my overarching goal is that when we move one day I want to move at the same time I hit a thousand subs right because what would happen what would be so cool is like I get to move I get to decorate my office like to a actual cool like decorated like gaming office right and then for a thousand subscribers because we just hit 800 the other you know yesterday it'd be really cool or two days ago for you guys it'd be really cool if like i hit a thousand subs decorate my room and then i had like a full-on office store it's like my thousand sub special like here is like my office store dude that would be sick now so there are the obvious things of like i actually need to upgrade my setup itself wait you shoot me to the right i am blind as a bat i guess if you go ahead and look at the time on my team like I'm the only person who has more than like a minute. Like what is happening here? As I was saying though, so I know there's like some obvious things. I can't believe I didn't kill Raider there. I know there's some obvious things I need to like upgrade. Like my monitors, for instance, if you guys didn't know, the two monitors I have like for my gaming setup are seven millisecond response time, like 60 hertz monitors. So even if I did run a two PC setup, I wouldn't even be able to go past 60 hertz, like 60 FPS. So that is like the big thing. I obviously need new monitors and I also need either. So I need to either get a dual PC setup or I just need to upgrade my, what I prefer to do is just upgrade my one computer. Oh, they're going to, Raider's going to cruise missile me, you jerk. But I would prefer just to like keep my one PC setup because I like just how easy it is. Everything on one PC and then just get a 3080. The problem is getting a 3080 seems to be impossible to come by these days, but who knows? Maybe by time I'm ready for that, I can get a 3080. But regardless, if I get a dual PC or a 3080, I just need another like, um, slightly better setup in that regard that way i can get more than 60 fps and then when that day comes when i finally can even achieve more than 60 fps then i will get better monitors which would be super awesome so those are like the obvious upgrades right i am flying so hard at this oh another thing i wanted to talk about so yeah i'm flying hard at this here we go the other thing is i was saying the other day i feel like we're basically guaranteed uh preset classes i stuck you lol now, uh, after what I seen on Twitter today, I feel like preset classes are absolutely not coming because so someone was tweeting at I think his Twitter is uh, Matt TKS. He's one of the Treyarch guys, and he's the guy that people like are always tweeting at him asking about league play updates. And they're asking him, uh, like, are you ever going to ban overkill? Like you said you would. And are you ever going to ban the DLC guns like the LC 10, for instance, which is like an overpowered gun in league play? And his words were. We're still working on overkill, no ETA, which is super annoying. Like, how is that not fixed yet? And then the other one is, I don't want to ban the LC-10. I'd, I'd rather tune it, which is so annoying because, for one, we all know they're never going to tune it. Hello. they The DLC guns have to remain overpowered in order for people to keep, you know, like, new people are going to, like, just buy their way through the game, the battle pass to get it instantly. And then, but the fact is, like, the fact that he, he said... I don't want to ban it means that there's not going to be preset classes because why would he mention anything about banning when there's going to be preset classes you know because he could have said like oh in our preset classes there are no lc10 classes but no he didn't say that he said i don't want to ban it which means there's probably not going to be preset classes which honestly makes me super sad now with that being said of course i do still enjoy playing league play and i really have been like really enjoying like us playing eight as a community in the rudy discord that's been like super fun because that is just like eight is literally just league play but actually good because like we actually you know everyone actually listens to the correct rules like the correct ga list but did he shoot my body that wasn't very nice i wasn't actually paying attention if he shot my body or if he was shooting past me or not but yeah so like league play is still fun and all but it'd just be i mean it'd be so much better if we got the preset class because if we got the preset classes even like besides of league play like so tonight when we when i found this new ga list of all the new gas we're gonna be using I like went through and I just restricted all the stuff like in that in that list so that way if there's any newcomers who like want to play H with us like for instance like my brother Tyler wants to play and he's like super new to competitive like he's not even like he's also like very new to league play too and so I was just like well if I just restrict all the stuff that's supposed to be restricted it'll be easier for him to make a class like mid map like if he was like obviously I can make a class for him but it'd be easier for me to like it'd be easier for him like if he wants to edit a class mid match 
be easier for him to do without having to worry about if that like item's actually banned or not. The only thing is, in the system, for one, it's annoying because you have to restrict all the items one by one in all three game modes, and two, they're not like when you restrict the items, you can't even restrict everything. Like, you, you cannot restrict the guns, you can't restrict the purse, you can't restrict any of the wild cards, but. You like the perk or the attachments aren't called like what they're actually called like the 40 round mag isn't called the 40 round mag The liberator barrel is not called the liberator barrel like when you're trying to ban the attachments It's like it's a real pain honestly, but at the end of the day I guess it just is what it is, but is this a that is a, okay good the games are say I don't want to die Will you stop like jump shot in me in pubs sir like get you and your Dallas Empire skin out of my face Thanks. All right. We got the LC 10 to level 49, which is nice. I think what is it like 50? How do I tell? Like, what's the lowest level, highest level? 54. Yeah, 54 is the last thing you unlock, and then 55 is the actual highest level. So 54 for me to get the um, Raider stock, but then I get, like, I mean, so... I, did, I haven't actually gone for any of the camo challenges yet, but... So I got these ones done already, so I still need to do long shots. I mean, if I end up wanting to get this Dark Matter, I could easily do it on Hardcore. What is this? Oh, this one's easy. The Detected Kills, okay, easy peasy. The point blinks are super annoying. I only have eight of those. And then what's this? Double kill. So the only thing I really have to worry about is a hardcore for long shots and then these point blinks when I want to get a dark matter. But for now, I just wanted to get this level fit like max level so that I can have the actual like a really overpowered setup like Task Force Barrel with the uh, Airborne Elastic and then the Raider stock. And then uh, like I have the Ranger Barrel. That'd be nice. That'd, that'd be a nice little setup. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for hanging out. If you have any suggestions of things I need to put in my office, you can leave it in the comment section down below and or you can link it to me on Twitter, like preferably through Amazon. So obviously if something's at like a Menards or a Walmart or something like that, I can probably go get it. But if it's through Amazon, that is the preferred method. Don't send me anything through Ikea. I have no idea. I've only been to an Ikea like once or twice ever in my life. Okay, I don't know where an Ikea is even at. I obviously I could Google search it and probably go go to one. Don't send me Ikea stuff though, please. Amazon is the preferred method so I can just get it shipped right to my house in two days. Unless FedEx delivers it, then seven days. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.